Hello, Star Wars fans. It is Zach from a podcast named Tim uh, here to talk about some some of my just thoughts and predictions about what could potentially be happening in tomorrow's episode of The Mandalorian, the season finale for uh, for for season two. And uh, please, you know, before we get into it, give a thumbs up, comment below, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. It does a lot to help out you. Uh, the reason I wanted to do this video is um, last season, obviously, we ended with the reveal of the Darksaber, which was a big reveal for this huge Star Wars nerds, like myself, and for everyone else who didn't know what that was, they can go learn about it. So a big uh, canon, legends, whatever, it was canon, or just a big reveal. And obviously... As with every season of any show nowadays, you gotta have a big ending. You gotta have a hook so everyone's ready to wait for next season. And the question I was thinking about was, what is going to be the big ending cliffhanger, the hook, for next year? Disney has already announced that season three of The Mandalorian is going to start December 25th, uh, 2021. That's important for two reasons. One, they've already announced when it is. So I think they know they've got something big and they want to prep everyone so we all know and we can set our mental clocks for next year. Two, if you're doing something on Christmas Day, which is normally like a big movie release day, a big entertainment day, you know, the NBA puts on a lot of big games, really big movies are released. If you're putting something on Christmas Day and you're making people wait those extra couple weeks, it tells me that whatever you got is big. And so I wanted to walk through a couple ideas I had, um, and maybe I'll get some more while we're doing this. We're kind of just going off script, um, a little stream of consciousness here. Um, the most obvious thing to happen, that would be just kind of the paint by numbers option, would be obviously, you know, Dune saves the kid, Grogu, and... Uh, Moff Gideon uh, kind of, you know, he does his I'll get you next time gadget a little bit. But that's really lame. And we kind of did that last time, but we need a hook. Death of a character is always an option. Fennec Shan, I don't think anyone cares about enough. I don't think they're going to kill off Cara Dune because I think she's going to be a ranger of the New Republic. I think there are two possibilities here. One's Moff Gideon who I don't think they're going to kill off because he is too good of a villain and we haven't had enough time with him. I think there's a potential for them to kill off Boba Fett. And the reason I say that is um, he, he, for a variety of reasons, one, Mando needs a ship. How awesome would it be for Mando to have Slave One? Boba Fett has redeemed himself, or he's working on being the not, you know, serial killer, just all about the money, kill, 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 bad guy that he's being presented as. So maybe he will fully redeem himself. That's what Star Wars is always about, you know, redeeming. Uh, he said, I'll promise to save the child and do what I can, and I'm in your service. Maybe he'll do something that will end this, the save of Grogu. So I think the most obvious big one would be killing off Boba it just seems, I don't know, it seems like they're dangling it. Plus, you know, he's been in two episodes. I'm sure some people, after the first episode, people are like, oh, you know, Fett's going to turn on Mando. And then, you know, with with him not doing it, with him helping him out for a second episode, just to kind of bait you in a little bit more. we got the cool seismic charge. We've, we've hit all the things we need to do to make that character remember, you know, to redeem him both uh, personally and in the eyes of fans. So that's a possibility. And it's a reason to get rid of Phoenix Shan and for Boa to not just immediately turn on him afterwards. But that's just that's one thought I had. Another thought was that, and I don't think that Disney has the stones to do this, which is why I don't think it's the main one, is maybe Din doesn't save Grogu. He gets super close, and... Um, Moff Gideon gets away, and we have to wait a whole year for the actual rescue mission. That would be interesting. 
But again, I don't think that they want to sell a lot of toys. I don't know if they're going to have the ability to do that, but that would give you that Empire Strikes Back level ending, you know, where the second season, let the bad guys have a win. So maybe that's happening. Another option is Grogu. We haven't seen too much of his Force powers, as much as I would say for the first season, in my opinion. And he just had his, you know, big telepathic reach into the, the, the Force and connect to everything. So maybe if there's three options I think can come from this as far as Grogu-centric things. One, he speaks. Says like dad or something, that'd be cute. Um, or just speaks in general. Two, some kind of new force power he uses, dark side or light. Just some kind of new force power is revealed. He saves the day, kind of shows us that he's retapped into his energy or his you know, his force memories, and he's he's ready to go. Option three would be if he was reaching out to a particular Jedi of some sort, they show up. And Ezra, a Luke, whoever you want it to be. So I think those are the three kind of Grogu centric things. Um, a fourth thing would be maybe more of a reveal from Dr. Pershing about um, the actual science about what we're doing. And I don't know what that would look like exactly, but um, that would kind of go along with, again, a bad guy win. I'm going to get into, I think I have two more that I think might be um, a little bit more on the fan service side, but that's okay. Why are you have fun? Um, one would be <laughs> if, you know, Din saves uh, Grogu, which I think is going to happen, and uh, Moff Gideon gets away and he has his I'll get you next time gadget moment. Maybe there's a, another big bad out there. It's someone that Moff Gideon is reporting to, and we'll get just a little, just a little hollow, of this person saying, you better get that kid, and if you mess up again next time, I'm going to step in and, you know, show you how it's done, basically. Um, and that'd be Grand Admiral Thrawn. They, they already name-dropped him. We know he's the main focus of uh, the Ahsoka series. Well, we would assume he's the main focus of the Ahsoka series that's been announced. And he would be a great kind of Thanos, I guess, where he just announces he's coming, we maybe get him towards the end of season one of of uh, Ahsoka while he's she's hunting him down. Maybe some Tide Defenders or something like that, or doing some stuff with the uh, Rangers. And then Mando's got whatever his version of it is. So maybe just a very quick, "Hey, I'm Thrawn. I'm here. I'm coming for you." Moment, or you know, something like that. And I think that'd be a good one where everyone would lose their mind. Oh my God, Thrawn's coming. And they'd want to wait and see what happens. So I think that's a possibility. And if we're going to go into super just crazy Star Wars conspiracy theory, this is what I cooked up the other night when I was thinking about um, thinking about this. Because I know some people mentioned some of the Jedi that could have saved Grogu, and everyone kept bringing up Mace Windu. And I don't think Mace is coming back. I think he's dead. I think people keep bringing that up because Samuel Jackson wants to return as the character, which, don't get me wrong, it'd be cool. Look, like at Star Wars, they bring people back from the dead all the time. So, if they want to bring Samuel Jackson back, I'm down. But I thought about the best way to do that and work it in and weave it in story-wise. So, again, conspiracy theory, tenfold at time. I think it'd be really cool, fan service, crazy, fan fiction-wise, if Moff Gideon knows that Mace Windu is alive and knows his location... And he promises to tell Fett the location of Mace Windu, the man who killed his father, a man that he has tried to kill before in the Clone Wars. He says, I'll tell you, you know, off Gideon tells him, I'll tell you where the man is that killed your father. But you got to turn on Mando. And then we can have Mando. Versus Fett. Well, I guess they're both Mando. Din versus Boba. And maybe in the end, you know, Din, Din would have heard where, where Mace says we can go search out for him, you know, in season three as the next Jedi. Um, I think that'd be kind of fun just because it would 
here's why I really want that one, even though, again, it's kind of crazy. I want to see Boba Fett's dilemma of he has information about the man that killed my dad, and I want that information. But I also made a promise to you that I would protect you and honor and save this kid. And I want to see that moral dilemma for Boba Fett and see what he would choose. Um, and, you know, having, having the two big Mandalorians fight off. Um, and maybe, maybe Fett wins. And that's how Grogu and them get away. Um, which would be really cool. You know, the old, the old wily veteran kind of gets over one on the, on the new guy for, for, for the first one. And then we got to work, work our way back. But that's pretty much some of my thoughts and my kind of crazy thoughts about what the hook is. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if bo showed up or did something. Although I think they might be saving that since they didn't add her to the crew already. But um, they're going to have to come up with something big, I think. Because, you know, you can do it once. You can do one big reveal. But if you can do two, anyone can do one big reveal. If you can do a couple and keep people hooked, that's that's really how you do it. And again, it's mainly because it's that December 25th release for season three. I think that they want they want to give us something big to sink our teeth into. So, just some of my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts on what you think the might the big reveal might be. And um, that's pretty much mine. Uh, please uh, like, share, subscribe, comment below your thoughts. Uh, we'll see you here um, next time on a podcast named Tim. Watch this before watching the episode. Just come back. Tell me if I'm right. Tell me if I'm wrong. And uh, I'm, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to. Could go back and watch some of these and see how wrong I was after watching the uh, season finale. I guess the last thing I should say, what's the name going to be? The Moth would be a good one if we're going to do about maybe the Admiral, the, the Moth, the Warlord. I don't know. I like that. It's like that title. Um, the Chosen One. I don't know. You know, because last one was the Believer. Um I don't know. Maybe the, it would be interesting to have an episode called From the Mandalorian called The Mandalorian. And that could be where Fett shows up and decides what his code is. Um, yeah. Well, maybe The Sun. Because then people think it's about Grogu, but really it's about Fett. I'm, I'm still harking on that one. But I'm, I'm talking past the close. Let's, let's wrap this up. Thank you again for checking this out. And uh, we'll see you next time here on a podcast named Tim.